847 right now and Monday marks the 25th anniversary of the day of service that celebrates Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s life and his legacy. It is observed each year on the third Monday in January and keep in mind this is the only federal holiday designated as a national day of service to encourage us to volunteer and improve our communities and this morning joining me fittingly this morning is Adrian Cochran. She is with YWCA here in Hartford locally and you all work with um, young people, women, the community, all to pretty much fulfill that legacy there, um, matches that message that Dr. King has always spread. And for you, as you're sitting here right now, 25 years later, that message is still very relevant, if not more relevant. Oh, absolutely, and I would say it's even more relevant. Mm -hmm. And you know, interestingly, Dr. King always acknowledged the role that women had in his life. You know, having a, a very strong wife, very strong mother, and being very involved in the struggle for women's rights. He understood that women's rights are civil rights and so the message absolutely is more critical than ever particularly if we look at the state of affairs in our country today mm -hmm. and I want to backtrack for those we've had you on the show before but yes. for those that are not familiar with YWCA what do you guys do so YWCA Hartford region is dedicated to empowering women and eliminating racism and we do that through a variety of means we have a very strong advocacy agenda but we also have programming that sort of infuses this message into to the work uh, that we do. We operate five early learning centers, eight kids length, which is actually before and after school care, mm -hmm. and then a variety of women's programming designed to help empower women and girls, uh, both economically, socially, in every aspect of their lives. And empowering and strengthening women only uplifts families. That sounds great. And fittingly, tomorrow there will be a lot of events to commemorate yes. um, that National Day of Service. We're talking breakfast, uh, events in Capitol Hill. For yes. you guys, how are you all making sure that you are fulfilling that message tomorrow. So starting to make sure that we are living within our mission in everything we do, we decided to focus on our younger children this year in our early learning centers. We're going to have our three wonderful AmeriCorps VISTAs are going to be going out and reading and sharing great information. But we also decided, or actually our VISTAs decided, mm -hmm. that almost everybody knows the story of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Very few people know the real story of Coretta Scott King. And beside every great man stands a woman. Okay, and a that's woman. the message, absolutely. <laughs> and that's the message that um, they decided that they wanted to focus on. So they will be assuring that our younger kids understand who she was, what she did. They're going to read to them. They're going to tell specific stories. And then they're going to have projects like origami so that the kids can create something that they can then take home to the strong woman in their household. That sounds great. And I want to leave folks with this. You're someone who works in an organization that is all about serving your community. Yes. Talk to me about just how important that factor is in a community to have people that are so willing to serve. Well, I think it's a, it's very critical. And as a community agency, what we acknowledge is that there are certain programs and services that we provide, mm -hmm. but it's important to collaborate with others that sort of make the story complete because there are services that we don't provide. And it takes the all of us to really make sure that we're making critical impact in our communities. We're proud of the work that we've done in Hartford for over 150 years. We've been on Broad Street in our building for 46 years. And so we are a staple and a very integral part of this community and very proud to eliminate racism and empower women. All right, as always, Miss Adrian, it was Thank nice you. having you on. Sorry, it's, you. I'm calling you Miss Adrian. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. And again, thank you for being here this morning. Thank you. It is 8.51 right now.